Hello everyone, welcome to Illustrator. So today we will be starting an all new series and in this series I will show you how you can model this kind of multiple towers in E-tabs which will be resting on a single podium and how you should analyze this multiple towers uh, in one model using E-tab software. So we will begin with the modeling part and then I will show you how you should uh, uh, what is the actual or true approach for analyzing the two uh, two towers uh, with a single single podium in ETAPS. Okay, so let's get started. So first, I will show you how we should model uh, the multiple towers. Here you can see this particular part. If I uh, show you this particular part here, it is the podium. This particular is the podium, and if you see here. Uh, these two areas we have so this is my one tower which will be going up and uh, here i have another tower okay so this podium will be of uh, of three levels and after that i will be having this uh, tower two uh, this tower two because i am considering the podium one as my uh, the podium as my tower one and then I will be having the tower 2 which will be from the top of the podium to 20, 25th floor. Means the, the terrace will be at 25th level and here I will be having uh, tower 3 which will be up to my 18th floor. Okay, 18th story. So, let us, let us model this. First, we will start creating the grids for multiple towers and then we will model the, uh, you can say, the different towers here. Okay. So, if I just... Uh, go back to e tabs where i have started a new model i will go with the uh, built in settings okay and i will start the first grid okay so the first grid i will be creating the podium here so for the podium if you see here we have uh, 13 uh, uh, you can say grids here okay so each of 5 meter so i will just in the x direction i will be having 13 lines or 13 grids and in the y direction, I will be having 7 grids. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? So, I will be having 7 grids. And in each direction, it will be of 5 and 5 meter. Now, as I will be modeling only the podium now. So, for this, I will consider the bottom story height as 2.5 meter. That means one single story. For typical stories also 2.5 meter, I will be considering. And I will be having uh, uh, actually 3 floors. So, it will be 3 here, okay? So, three levels of podium I will be having and I will click on OK. And here you can see I have I have created the podium level here. Now, I will uh, turn on the multiple tower option. So, for that I will go to options and here you can see we have this option allow multiple towers. So, click on this allow multiple towers. Before that, let me just show you if I go to view, you can see uh, here we have set grid display visibility but there is no tower option. If I go to edit, here also you can see it is uh, only showing edit storage and grid systems, right? So, if I just go to options and if I click on this allow multiple towers. After that, if I go to view, now you can see here another option added which is set tower visibility. Okay, now you can change the visibility of different towers if you create here. And if I go to edit, there also you will see that we have the option for editing the towers here. Edit towers, storage and grid systems now. Okay, so let's let's create the uh, towers first. So uh, for that, I will I will go to here edit towers, storage and grid systems. And here you can see it is asking for uh, modifying the tower one. I do not want to change the tower one. It is already created, which is my podium. So I'll create a new tower, add new tower. And here uh, the typical story height I'll keep three point six meter. Bottom story and typical story, 3.6 meter. And how many number of means how many levels will I want? Suppose I want 25 uh, levels. Okay, number of stories 25. So I'll click on OK. Now uh, I will go to my here modify show story data and see the base level of this tower will start from the top of the podium, right? So my top of podium is at 7.5 meter level, right? So I'll put it here 7.5 because uh, every every story here is 2.5 so three times 7.5 here i'll click on ok here fine now i will edit this grid system so i'll modify this grid system 
I will name it as grid 2 and see here if you, if you just open this now this tower will start from 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 here which is uh, at 5 meter distance from the uh, grid A right so for that I will I will use this option edit grid data as ordinate and I will click on add and here I will give the value as 5 meter then I will have 10 meter so it is in x direction okay then I will have 15 20 so you can see here 5 then 10 let me let me show you here 5 here then 10 then 15 20 and 25 right and in this direction also 5 10 15 20 and 25 so let us just do this 5 10 15 20 and 25 here I also in the y direction I will add 5 then 10 then automatically it will create 15 20 25 ok. So the line for the tower 2 means the grid for the tower uh, tower 2 is starting from my from here in this position ok and in from the y direction also it is starting from this point. So that is why I have given this uh, coordinates I will click on ok I will click on ok and again I will click on ok here and you can see the tower 2 is added here above the tower 1. Now again I will create the tower 3 here so I will go to edit edit uh, towers and storage and grid systems and I will click on add new tower here I will keep the same story height as 3.6 meter typical story height as 3.6 and number of stories I want suppose here 18 and I click on ok. So, here I have uh, tower 3. I will again modify this. The base I will set at 7.5 meter. I will click on ok. I will edit this grid system. So, modify show grid system. I will make it grid 3. Now, here if you see here the tower 3 will be starting from this position. So, it is at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Okay. So, from 35 this this position if you see 0 5 10 20 25 30 35 40 right so it is starting from from here okay so what is the coordinate value for this for this coordinate value will be my so if i if i just uh, see this is 0 this is 5 means in the x direction so 0 5 20, uh, 10 15 20 25 30 35 okay so this is my 35 coordinate value so i will start from 35 here i will give 35 then i will give 40 and automatically 45 uh, 50 55 right and in in uh, y direction it will be again same y direction it will be 5 10 15 20 25 right so, I will just add 5, then 10, 15, 20, 25. See here, uh, you can add these grids using the DXF files also. I am just showing the uh, process using these grids, uh, which, which is the simple process. And if you have complex sheets, in that case, you need to uh, import the DXF files and you should uh, assign those DXF files under this tower 1 and tower 2, tower 3 like this. Okay. So that we can we can see later. So first of all, let us let us understand the uh, basic things. So I'll click on OK here, and I will click on OK and OK here. So you can see the tower two is also added. So here, if I just show you, this is how I have modeled the grids. First, I have the podium, then the, which is my tower one. Then I have this tower, tower two, and the tower three. Okay. So now let us let us start defining the the model. Or the structure so i'll just close one view here so here now i will i will go to my uh, story one and let us let us close all the things so i'll just go to 3d view i'll go to view uh, uh, and i will go to set tower visibility and suppose i just want to model the podium here now so i'll uh, take those tower two and tower three in the available towers and i will keep the tower one as visible I will apply this to all windows and click on apply ok. So, now you can see only the 
tower tower one which is my podium so i'll go to plan view and story three i'll make it all story so then it will be uh, very simple to make so i'll go to define material properties m30 grid is also there hys 415 let us uh, define some materials here concrete m25 and maybe rebar of uh, 500 grid fine and uh, let us uh, define some sections also frame sections let us modify this beam i'll make this beam as 200 by uh, suppose 600 with 200 by 600 okay i'll keep it m30 modify let us give this uh, suppose 41 and change it to 500 grade click on ok i'll modify this column see uh, suppose 400 by 700 i'll be defining and it is m30 so with this 400 i'll make it 700 modify show riba let us change this uh, ok 5 and 3 it is fine i'll make it 8 and uh, 8 mm dia maybe 125 mm spacing uh, number of confinement bars in three direction so number of confinement bars in three direction it will be maybe one two uh, three four and five let us keep it five and in this direction it will be one and two so i'll keep it two and okay let us click on okay now and okay i'll define another column so i'll make a copy of this i'll make a column of 500 by 500 or maybe 400 by 400 let us begin with 400 by 400 i'll make it 400 what will be the ratio for this if i make 400 by 400 okay it is one obviously so modify shori bar and i'll change this to four and four now and 25 and i'll make it now one to four let us make it four and four in this direction also uh, three okay and click on okay now let us delete some uh, extra sections which we do not need okay now let me define the slab so i'll go to slab sections i'll delete this property i do not need slab one modify s 150 suppose so i'll make it 150 shell thin okay let us define some wall so wall section modify let us define a wall of 300 mm thickness m35 grade okay let us change the grade of concrete for for the slab which we can you can change later also but let me just change it to m25 okay now let's start modeling the uh, the podium first so what i will do i will i will uh, first model the beams so i'll select this quick draw beam option let me turn on the uh, model explorer so i will just yes so now let's take this i will change the property to b200 600 and let me model like this it will be modeling in the base also which i will delete later okay so because i'm i, I have kept it uh, all story for for the ease of modeling i'll delete this beams i don't need okay so i will model the shear wall here so i'll draw this quick draw walls uh, wall 300 auto pr yes i'll draw like this like this like this and like this okay now let's draw the slabs like this okay now uh, see here from here the tower one is starting so what i will do here i will delete these two slabs and these peripheral beams because i will be uh, creating the 
uh, shaft here, lift shaft here. Same in this direction also. From here, it will be starting. So here, I'll be lifting this. Okay, and let us let us model the walls here. Okay. We need to delete this beam also and model the wall here. Fine. So, if I just show you the 3D model, here it is. Let me draw some uh, columns also. So, here this, this, this columns will be my the column which will be continued for the throughout the tower. So, I'll just take this column and I'll select this 400, 700. I'll model this like this. Here, 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 and here. Same for this also. And for the middle one, I will select the column 400 by 400. And I'll select like this. Okay. So now I will go to, I will make it one story. I'll go to the base level. So this T1 tower 1 base. Okay. And let's delete all these slabs okay and you can see the 3d view we will we will fix the base later we will assign the boundary condition later so now we will go for modeling the tower 2 okay so i will go to view uh, set tower visibility and i will select this tower 2 okay and i'll go to the plan view of tower 2 story 1 okay tower 2 story 1 okay and let's start modeling here in this first story which is one story i have kept so we will do the same i will go for the slab modeling first this is totally your choice whatever do, uh, you want to model you can model like this so then i will delete these This beams, I will model the walls here. Okay, and I will model the columns. So, not this one, it should be 400 by 700, right? So, yeah, so I will model like this. So, orientation and all you can change later if required. You can see in the 3D view, I have modeled this, right? And I will select this whole, and then I will go for uh, replicate story. Now see, I will be replicating for tower two, and in tower two, I have created from base to story one, right? So from story two to uh, tower two 25th, right? So I'll click on apply and close. Okay, the tower 2 is ready. Now I will go for the tower 3. So I will go to again view, uh, set tower visibility. I will keep it here and tower 3, apply. Okay, I will go to the plan view and tower 3 story 1. Okay, and we will do the same here. The same process, just repetitive task we are doing. Okay. Beams, I will take 200 by 600. I will delete uh, these beams and slabs. And then I will model the wall. Okay. And then I will go for uh, the columns. Remember, whenever you are making the towers, uh, in that case, you need to create the model separately. You cannot just mirror or replicate it from this point to this point. Otherwise, uh, that model will be will belong like it will it will go under the tower one. And whenever you turn on the tower two or tower three, that that would only be uh, shown here. So, okay. 
so in that case uh, we need to create tower wise one by one so i will go to 3d view i will select this i will go to replicate and story and now it will be tower 3 so from base to story 1 we have created so from story 2 to tower 3 uh, story 18 right so i will go for tower 3 story 18 here I click on apply close now i will turn on all the towers so i will go to view set tower visibility i will take all these two apply i will click on this 3d view you can see the tower is ready now we can mesh the uh, shear walls so i will just go to select select object type and walls okay and i will mesh it maybe for one meter so i'll go to edit uh, edit shells divide shells and i will go for this option five by one it is uh, all are of five meter grid so i'm making one meter by one meter uh, uh, division click on apply okay and for the slabs also i'll keep one so i'll go to analyze uh, auto rectangular mesh for floors and i'll make it one meter click on ok so this is how you can create uh, multiple towers using multiple grids now see this thing you can create without even without be, uh, uh, defining the towers but uh, as you have defined the towers now it is the best process of defining two towers in, in a single model uh, which will help you in the analysis process also in the later uh, later time okay so this is the way you can create uh, multi tower models with a single uh, podium base okay and then now i will we will start defining the loads and how how we should go for uh, analyzing these two towers separately for earthquake loads i will show you in our uh, in this particular series